Hello, my name is Patricia Elise. I'm an immigration attorney located in Miami, Florida, and I help people navigate through the immigration system. Now, weddings are supposed to be the most exciting moments in our lives. The exchange of these special words, till death do us part. Now, these conceal a commitment, a lifetime commitment between spouses. For many individuals, the loss of a, the loss of a spouse may leave them heartbroken and facing difficult immigration dilemmas. Today, we will discuss the immigration benefits available to widowers of U.S. citizens. Prior to October 28th of 2009, the immigration law required that a widower be married to a U.S. citizen spouse for at least two years before being eligible for immigration benefits in the event of the citizen spouse's death. This condition was removed by Congress and became effective back in October 2009. The new law states that a widower of a U.S. citizen may be eligible to apply for a green card if they meet some of the requirements. For example, one, that they were married to a U.S. citizen at the time he or she passed away, two, that they're not remarried, and three, they were not divorced or legally separated from their spouse at the time that the U.S. citizen passed away. For a more detailed explanation, please make sure to check out our blog linked in the description below. The surviving spouse of a U.S. citizen may also self-petition as an immediate relative by filing a Form I-360 if the Form I-130 was never filed by the widower before the death of a U.S. citizen. Lastly, a widower qualifies to adjust their status to that of permanent residence following the same process as if the U.S. citizen spouse was still alive. A widower residing in the United States may file Form I-45 the application to register for permanent residency. The surviving spouse of a U.S. citizen can apply for a work permit, just like any other person, and can seek advanced parole for travel with a pending 485 application. Please make sure to reach out to us either via social media or by calling 305-371-8846 if you have any questions.